Like in this world, for example, you can imagine where the demons are in the second stage. And uh, at the end of the world, like here, there was an altar, which I can see down on the stage, it's beautiful, Jesus, and the uh, Lord of the Lord, and all the other demons are in the altar. And you can see the demons are in the altar, and 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 the demons are in the altar. So there, on the side of the room, uh, where they were seated on the stage, with all the Sanyasis and Brahmacharyas, and we were looking at the order to go up on the stage on the altar and to perform the Abhishek, which they do on the altar in the evening. And when this Abhishek is being performed, uh, the, the, the people are actually going completely mad. They, they want to get some of the Sharanamrita. So they're pushing and pushing to go up near to the altar, near to the altar, but we're told, we'll give them any because we'll call them out. So the whole world is completely inundated with this incredible ecstasy. It is unbelievable ecstasy that we go. And all of this I saw, it was all coming from Shri and his mood that he had imparted into the hearts of everyone during the month of Nisan, 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 standing next to Gurude and the Arti, Gaur Arti was being performed. And uh, Sri Gurude was standing and also participating in the Arti Kirtan. And uh, I remember Bhagavad uh, Maharaj who was standing also next to me and he leaned over and he said, can you see the look of satisfaction on Sri Gurude's face? And I turned to my work, and I saw this wonderful food that was coming from Shri Rudra. How, through his seva, to his guru mother, she was looking for the annotation part. Through his seva, to our Shri Rudra, to the Asian company that the Swami called her. Traveling throughout the world, bringing long devotion of us from all over the world, to the first place of Mahaprabhu, to the Nalini Kirtama, and he went to this huge, wonderful temple, the biggest temple in all of Nalini Kirtama, to glorify the Lord of Mahaprabhu. And, uh, I talk about the match in the very day, uh, the one here, uh, the Nalini Kirtama, with at least 15,000 devotees from all over the world, and now this is the symbol for his preaching. How he has glorified our Guru Varga and Guru Mahaprabhu. So that was a very inspirational, very incredible moment to be taking part with Sri Ramirde there. I began to think and meditate how Sri Ramirde is really is the embodiment of the Guru Mahaprabhu's mercy now at this time. Huh? And we can say this, because who else is giving what Sri Ramirde is giving? Who else is giving, especially, these conceptions? We heard so many conceptions of the world of the Hathabu's appearance tonight. But how do we know all this? Yes, it's in Sri Ramirde's book, but we did not have these spotlights to really understand deeply until we came to the Lord's feet of Sri Ramirde and Sri Ramirde. And yes. uh, his explanation of the one of the heart of the especially explaining to us that there are external reasons and also internal reasons. This is very important to understand because some persons are a bit confused about this, even still today. Some devotees, my brothers, they don't have a clear understanding, even though. She was Krishna's on the cover of the Lord, so he has very clearly delineated in the beginning of Sri Krishna's Sharanamrita. It is very, very clear. Why the one of the Hathabu is here in this world? There are internal reasons and there are external reasons. She was Ashwamosh, explains the nicely. She was Ashwamosh, explains the nicely, especially the internal reasons for this. But unless someone studies these literatures, under the guidance of a realized Rupa Nuba Vaishnava, 
This real material reason is still about to be material. Why he asked to be material? For his own reason. Because he is Krishna himself. And all the Vedas are declared. Rasa by Saha. He is Rasa. That's who God is. God is Rasa. And what is Rasa? She really sometimes uses the English uh, term. God is love. Once we were in the Philippines, which we were in there, and we were walking, and the morning walk, and he saw on the cement slab uh, that somebody had written before, you know, sometimes when it's still wet, somebody writes something there in a dry, so he saw, God is love, when you read it. And he was just, yeah. That is that. <laughs> that is that. And then you said, and, and love. And then that evening, she was really a user in the evening lecture, and from that time, he mentioned it again and again. God is love. Because why? That is our philosophy. The Russo, why is the heart? God is the Russo. But to understand that, not this easy thing. How that supreme being who is Asmoy Jalam Paradaksha? That means he is one undivided supreme absolute truth. There is no other, nothing else existing except for him. But how? Even though he is like this, yet his energy is non different than himself. It is also him. But at the same time, he is a Achintya. See the big sattva. This is our philosophy of the one who has to do. Nowhere else you will find it. And therefore, within this conception that the one who has to do is God, we have the supreme energy and the supreme energy. And without these two, no possibility of God. So, Sri Krishna Dr. Rana Sattori has quoted to the Sri Krishna Dr. In the very beginning of Sri Krishna Dr. Rana Sattori, he says, he And there he says, Radha, Krishna, Pranaya, Vikta, Deer, Tamra, Dini, Shakti, and Asana, Ekat, Pranaya, Vikta, 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 Shaitam, Atam, Radha, Vada, Juti, Shubhavitam, Nomi, Krishna, Shubhavitam. Here, he pays in, as a reality, Nomi, Namaha, to the Krishna Sarupa. Who is the Krishna Sarupa? That means, the transformation of the Pranaya. What is the Pranaya? That means, Shivati Radhika, the Radhini Shakti Pantasi of Krishna. That is his pranaya. And transformation of that Rukini Shakti has caused Radha and Krishna to manifest. Of course they are eternal. Huh? It is still inconceivable that something can manifest as a man is eternal. But we are also told that those two have again become one. In Kasana, in Dudhi, for the name of Indam Bhutoso. Although they are two personalities, now they have become one. They have combined together the energy and the energetic. They have combined together the predominator and the predominator. The supreme Vishwari Bhagavan, the object of all pain, and the Akrai Bhagavan, the very shelter of all things. They have now combined together in one form. And that is she for one the Mahaprabhu. But to understand why? Yes, we heard his explanation. We heard that Sri Krishna became attracted to his own beauty. He wanted to understand his own beauty. All these explanations are there as Sri Krishna and Sri Ramita. But to understand deeply uh, how Krishna desires to change the love of Sri Ramita. That is a very, very deep tattva, glory tattva. And we will, for our entire life, we will try to even comprehend and taste one little drop of that tattva. Our life is successful. That is explained very nicely in fourth chapter of Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Lila. She will really explain 
that if someone wants to understand Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, if someone wants to understand his Lila, his pastime, and if someone wants to understand this very literature, this biography, which is the complete embodiment of the Lord of Mahaprabhu's thinking in the pastime, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, then they have to understand the fourth chapter of Chaitanya Charitamrita. And that fourth chapter is explaining the three reasons why Krishna appeared as Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So that appearance of Mahaprabhu, he is sometimes called Chandra Avatar, covered. Why? Because it's not completely, clearly manifested in the Shastra. And the other day, in the Hong Kong, she was asked the question, huh? why is Mahaprabhu? Uh, come in this covered way, just like Dhamma Maharaj. He asked the question to Shiva Gurudev. Why covered? And then Shiva Gurudev explained, to give more mercy, to give more specific mercy for the Jesus soul. He came as a devotee. He goes as a devotee. He comes nearer and closer to the conditioned soul. And he can give them even more mercy. So therefore, he's not manifesting himself as the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but he's coming in the form of a devotee. Just like human beings living in a very simple Brahmin family, and all of Mahaprabhu's associates, they're all eternal associates from the world of Vindavan and God. They're all widows and gopis who play in Krishna's Lila, and they descend in all to assist him, so that he can get very near and close the conditions for us to give them this very special, special mercy. So we know that that special mercy that is distributed by Gauranga Mahaprabhu, and especially by his Swaru, his very own manifestation, Sri Nityananda Bhavaram, who is the Akanda Guru Tattva himself. Those two words, they manifested this unlimited mercy for the conditions for us, and they distributed it unlimitedly throughout the entire universe by their nouns of Kirtan. It's a very first verse of the Sri Chaitanya Bhagavad, Sri Vrindavan Dasakur, is glorified by Gwani Siddhanta, Adhan Lhamsa Kapujo, Anakavata Kato, Sam Kirtanai Kapitaro, Sam Avaya Kapsho, Vishwam Baro Vijaharo, Yugadharma Paro, Vandi Jagat Priyataro, Karunava Paro. He's glorified Gaur and Nityananda together, these two lords. Because Gaur and Nithai, they're non-different. Just as Krishna and Bala are non-different personalities. Only slight now change of color and slight change of personality. But the two of them became completely immersed and inundated with Krishna praying, Raja praying, to give and bestow that on all the Jivas in this Kali Yuga. So this has never been done before. Never. But this is because Gauranga Mahaprabhu is the combined form of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna together. Sri Krishna, Sri Samya, Radha, Krishna, Nadi, Anya. They are none other than Radha and Krishna, Sri in the form of Sri Krishna, Sri Samya Mahaprabhu. Rupa Dhuga, Jivaya, Jivan. The, the very light and soul of all the Rupa Dhuga, Gaudiya uh, Vaishnava, the Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this glorious manifestation of the Supreme Personality of Godhead in this Kali Yuga, it is so benedicting all conditioned souls on all different levels, actually. We heard this morning, she will go and explain it. Mahaprabhu's preaching to touch all levels, even persons who were outcasts, even persons who had very little connection even with any civilization, huh? or they weren't even in Varnashram Dharma, but Mahaprabhu would come and to the homes of the materialistic persons even, and he would encourage them that they should uh, accept the process of this uh, non-self kirtan and purify their lives. And suppose they were a little bit more advanced, or oh, accept the path of pure bhakti, to those who are a little bit more advanced, now come on to this pathway of Rupa Nuga, Radha Nuga Bhajan. So it's still the same thing as existing now. Mahaprabhu's mercy is flowing in all directions through this Rupa Nuga Guru Maharaja and through the living Vaishnavas within this world. 
you must eat Mahaparma and Vice Nava. They are the powerhouse behind Mahaprabhu Gustav Sita Newman. They are the great general of the Nava Mahaprabhu Newman. And without them, this Newman cannot be uh, inundating the whole world. So therefore, Mahaprabhu is always studying his divine personality from the transcendental realm. It is power representative into this world to carry on the mission of Krishna and Mahaprabhu as he did by sending Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, as he did by sending Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, by sending our beloved Sri Ramakrishna to Don Kakur, of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's army. They have come into this world to give mercy to all the conditioned souls. But for those who want the full, complete mercy of Lord the Mahaprabhu, they are coming now to give the Rupa Nuga Dara, the conception of the Rupa Goswami, as given by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So she, she really has directed this topic for this week at this festival that he will speak on the pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu from Chaitanya Bhagavad the state of the Sarasamita, on the divine teachings of the Lord of Mahaprabhu, who is very, very pointed to come here, to have this opportunity for his name, uh, to constantly hear the glories of the Lord of Mahaprabhu. And because the glories of Mahaprabhu and his appearance within Nagarjee's dawn, they are not different than Sri Krishna himself in Vrindavan's dawn. Therefore, there is no difference between Vrindavan and Nagarjee's dawn. And now it comes out, Sarkur says, if anyone understands that there is no difference between this Chintamani Dham or Shivindavan Dham and between Melody's Dham, oh, then they constantly go with the serving in the Nitya Dham, the eternal abode of Sri Krishna. So we are so fortunate that now this is just the beginning of our festival. Sri Ramirda will be coming tomorrow and he will be giving us the opportunity to hear the transcendental nectar of the Lord of Mahaprabhu's teaching from his own world as well. So I'm now in doubt the Lord's feet of our Virginia, of our Rupa Nuka Guru Varga, and all the rest of us. One step out to do this, and step deep down to do this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Otherwise, how do you think you're going to be done? It's more than a force. That's an impossibility. But those things are in the system. How can you be in one place and all forbidding at the same time? That's impossible. But those impossibilities are reconciled in the system. Now, the other thing is, it's more than a lie in the system. It's not a lie in the system. That is an astonishing thing. An Odisha Bhagavad Gita declared that they are See, the line of thinking is, I have so much strength, but no one can fight me. There are four brothers, one is the other. The Lord likes a good brother. He likes to fight. Then if I put it as one is fighting, because everyone is, still the Lord is. No one has a mood of antagonism towards the Lord, they have a focus on who will fight. There will not arrive in the spirit of some incompleteness, even though he is completely complete. Therefore, it's beautiful. The middle of Shakti of the Lord is to Shakti. She can really understand the other number of people's desires. How to fulfill it? Then she inspired the hearts of Jane and Jack. So we have to pass them with our trust and take three words as human. As we should not think that they are pretending to be human. Otherwise, they will not be complete safe. The Yoga Maya covered their desires, they actually hate the Vishnu. And three words, the Lord spoke of him, and his desire was complete. Then the Lord came out, but one is sitting there. Actually, the sitting there, God and Krishna are called Parasatva. They are more complete than the last incarnation. Then I know the sitting there, he burst out of the pillar. And killed the only guy who was there. All the three houses were afraid to approach him, therefore they passed for us. And young Brahma, he knows where he jumped on the mat of the two of them, who began licking him. Out of the fresh sight. Then the Lord came and said, Let the Lord come and see the Lord. When God is sitting on the mouth, you might be laughing, but he keeps completely laughing in heaven. He cannot enjoy more than that. But the Lord, he says, I feel ecstasy as he starts eating the house. So the Lord is an understanding. He is composed of ecstasy. But I am not feeling happy like the Lord is feeling happy. Receiving the affection of men by mommy and father. Therefore, the same way I've had an understanding of desire. What does it mean to have a mother and father? Because who is the same way as mother? They have a strong feeling. They might have a protection to go there. They have a strong feeling. What is it like to have a mom and father to take that love? They have an unfulfilled desire. They have all these connections out to the children that they accept as mother and father. Then that part of the children that they form on, she is an unchanger. But she is an unchanger. It's described as when you went to after the defeating the Yadu, the demon to Balwan Rish, defeating the Yadu of Vishamitsa, then they went to Janaku, King Janak Maharaj. So in the morning, Vishamitsa, I think, the Lama Nasham went to the garden to pick flowers for the service of the Gurudev. That time, Sita Devi was also there. Sita Devi was worshipped, the mercy of Yoga, and Yoga Maharaj. Oh, they were just like your husband, and they were powerful. They were all trying to get them reporting. They wanted a husband like you. And for your mind, I still have to die. That time was the first meeting of Peter and Ron. The good of our princess. And when Ron saw Peter, then he said, Oh, fire on me. And it's great to my dynasty, the soul of our soul dynasty, son dynasty. In my dynasty, no, no one in our dynasty ever felt attraction to a woman before marrying. The curse on me, I was attracted to a woman without being married to her. I was distressed. The master said, It must be that you will marry her, so I felt such a thought would come in your mind. Therefore, that was the marriage of Peter and Ron. So, she was all going to say, Who does Peter love? Does she love Ron? Or did she love me, the wife of love? Who did she love? Did she love her or did she love her husband? She loved her husband. 
When there's no difference between Christian and Yemeni, who is that? That is going on the Mahatma. And when there's difference between Christian and Yemeni, who is that? That is the God and Krishna. They will go to my son and be more important, they will always worship God and the Lord God and Krishna. That is a complete understanding of a chapter of the day. I want to thank all of the Sanyasis tonight, Sipas, Ashram Maharaj, Sipas Yama Maharaj, Sipas Abhijit Maharaj, Sipas Padmanabha Maharaj, and Srimati Shamarani Ji. Everyone spoke very beautifully tonight about Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the reason why he was here, glorifying Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Radha Krishna and our Guru Varga, especially our dearly beloved Srila Pakyananda Narayan Goswami Maharaj, who is in the day. So, a couple more announcements quickly. So I want a red and gray T-Mobile phone. Does anyone find a red and gray T-Mobile phone? Can you please uh, return it at the desk? There's a desk right by the door. You found it? You found the phone. Huh? You found the phone. You found the phone. The phone is found, okay? Right at the door. Um, in the back there, you'll see there's a desk right by the door with uh, Shiraki, Hari Kriya, Devi Dasi. If you raise your hand back there, stand up with us. Everyone take a look. There's Hari Kriya, Devi Dasi at that desk. So she's the one who signs you up for volunteers. So anyone who'd like to volunteer and do some service and uh, help uh, with the festival, you please go to the city. I agree with Baby Yassi and sign up with her over there. Also, I think Prabhuji has something you want to say. Okay. Alright. The pool, by the way, goes. That's all of them. No one can use the pool. Especially everyone be very careful with your children. There's no lifeguard there. There's nothing set up for security for the children and care for them. So no one's allowed in the pool, especially keep an eye on the kids. All right? We don't want to have any unfortunate accidents. I, yeah, they should be closed up, but in case, uh, you know, be careful. Yes, sir. The pool is, the pool is, the pool is, the pool is open. The reason the pool is locked. Is they have to put this in working process. Okay. But right. the, uh, the pool will have to be locked. So it will be locked. We're hoping later on the week it will be open from 10 to 4.30. Okay. Will there be a lifeguard on the week? No. And no one will be allowed on the 10th without here. Right. Still, there should be somebody should have to point someone. If anyone wants to volunteer to do lifeguard to me, you have an experience as an excellent swimmer. Please sign up with Hari Kriya and Devi Dasi. We'll open up the pool later uh, this week from 10.30 to 4, but there has to be a uh, proper language out there. Okay, so um, the, uh, again, tomorrow there's going to be a bazaar out there starting tomorrow. There's always drinks out there. There'll be more booths out there. There'll be books. There'll be pizza. There'll be cookies. There'll be cake. There'll be all kinds of wonderful things out there. And so the boys can go out there. Of course, we have the shop and one, one new tonight, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. All the boys can partake in the wonderful Krishna Prashad and be prepared every day. So, uh, in the 80s, I want to thank Hari Kriya Devi Dasi and uh, all the other ladies, people in the 80s, and all the others who put together a beautiful altar. And also, they put together everything here with the Yasatash, 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 everything, beautiful decorations everywhere. So many devotees worked very hard. Portal into the pool and 